Good morning, good morning. What's up? StreamYard didn't work. So we'll try this on YouTube. We'll see if anybody jumps on. See what we got going on today. Mojo. Thank you for stopping by. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Good afternoon. It's afternoon for me now. This guy lets me out. Thank you, sir. What a nice boy. Let me sneak through. Doing good. Hope everybody's having a good week. Let's get started today. I had a rain day yesterday. Monday usually don't work, so I was off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Five days off. Well, I don't feel like going back to work today. Good morning, yep, yep. Down in beautiful Louisiana. Very nice. Been down the, been down the Baton Rouge before. So, that was years ago, but... I went from there to New Orleans to check that out. That was pretty cool. Except when it rains, that's not cool down there when it rains. But that's a whole different story because we're not talking about rain. Let me see the last comment I got. What's up, John? Good morning. How are you? We'll be at the next house in about uh, less than a minute, so I'll catch up with the chat in a second. We got a nice day. It's about 80 degrees. A little humid, but not too bad. Mojo's in Washington. Not too bad. Oh. But I'm ready to take a nap. Been at it since about 9.30. Had a couple minutes late start this morning, but it's okay because it's vacation week, so we're allowed to sleep in for a couple minutes. Got to hire it up to three and a half on this. Put it in the back or no? Everything, yeah. Okay. I don't know why I thought you didn't put the whole thing. Oh boy. Three and a half of Get this going real quick and we'll be right back and I'll grab you guys in a second. business. What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see what you got going on. Boy, switch you around. Girl in the show nine. Okay, you're still over there. I thought you moved, so that's cool. What's up, John? 101 only? That's not too bad. They mowed here Monday. That's right. Nice. Let's do it live. What's up, DW? Thank you for stopping by. Nope. Nope. No alone. I'm still waiting for Mario. Mario took a couple days off last week and he's uh, decided he's going to take another day off or two. So that's fine. That's cool. Ugh, i got to figure out how to switch you guys around on this one. I haven't done YouTube in a couple days. There we go. So we got you guys switched around. See what we got going on. No, I don't want to do that. That's the wrong button. Connie's watching. I'm pushing buttons, Connie. We don't want to do that. So... Don't want to push no buttons. But thank you everybody for stopping. Good morning, everybody. Let's see if I got the camera pointing the right way because sometimes I point it the wrong way. You guys watch the wrong section. Thank you. 
It's a nice day to do nothing. You stay to stay home, air conditioner on, watch YouTube. America's most exciting channel. If you can't find something to watch on YouTube, you got big problems. There's so much on YouTube to watch and also to learn from too. Important tool. Thank <laughs> you. 
everything. Hard part is getting there. To get started, piece of cake. If you want, you can ask go and put two hundred dollars too. I forgot to tell everybody, we did not, we did not win anything on the Mega Millions. Can't believe it. Three different tickets in a row, three different draws, not one number. Totally, totally unamazing. Unbelievable, I should say. Oh, that was my leg in the door. We're back. What's up, everybody? Sorry. You figured out. I get out of here, but. Getting it figured out. Back on the grind. Get something to drink. It's a little muggy today. We'll take another month and this will be. We'll be wishing for warm days again that were this warm. That Mr. D? Yeah. All day. All day long. We got our Coca Cola again today. It was on sale again. Buy two, get three free. So, got five packs for like $18, it probably was for, I don't know if that was a good deal or not, but it looked like it from looking at the ad when I walked into the grocery store. So, it's Coca-Cola for the week. Even though I like Pepsi better. Cookies. We'll take it. Everybody's got going on. My live chat. What's up, Bobby? That's a very large rodent. There was a rat back there. Yeah, it was big. On Facebook, if you were on. That's what you said, Bobby. Yeah, I'll look on this one. Right in a second. Pretty nice day. Yep. Perfect. 
Got a little rain yesterday, which the rain helped me out though, because I had to play Mr. Plumber yesterday. So yeah. I was a YouTube plumber. Well, I got it fixed. We had a clogged drain in the sink and then the bathroom sink. We got it all figured out. So I took like four hours and only one trip to the hardware store. So it was a good day. Got it fixed. So I'm done. I took my plumber's hat off for today and I want to put it back on because I keep track of when I uh, work on the last time I cleaned that drain was 17, 2017. So I got almost seven years out of it. So that's cool. Wherever Jen is from, I'm not sure because I haven't seen her before. So the lawn care that most here is quality lawn services. You should look them up on Facebook if you are on Facebook. But I'm yeah. not sure if they're local or what. I got, I got Facebook, but I really don't check in the Facebook too much. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time in a day. One guy was on yesterday, I should say, or maybe Monday. He gave me a pretty good idea. He said he's searching for the 25th hour in the day. <laughs> I was thinking about that when I was. That's a pretty good idea, actually. It's got to be there somewhere. We find a 25th hour, get a little bit more stuff done in the day. But I'm in the lazy mode this week on vacation, so I don't feel like doing much. But like I said, we got to get a lot of things good to get done because the weather will start getting cooler. I don't even want to do stuff outside as much. Now I can go outside and. In the evening, work on whatever you got to work on and mess around and get bit up by the mosquitoes, but at least it's warm out. So, Let's see what you said, Bobby, on that one. Yeah, the Mega Millions, yeah, we played $20 that Wednesday, and then $20 the other day, and I only, only did $8 yesterday. Not one number on any of them. That's crazy. So, I was in a, yeah, where I went for my birthday lunch, I got into a pool with them. We bought a bunch of tickets, and, uh, I had some pictures of them for yesterday afternoon. I stopped in and looked at them, and we didn't get nothing. We had like one or two balls here and there, but nothing on, on different tickets they were. So, so we're going to have to go back to work. What's up, Connie? Good morning. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Connie, on Friday, I'll put my sailor's hat on for you so we can go sailing. We'll play Christopher Cross, and we'll be all set. It'll be, be a lot of fun. We're getting it done. Kind of we were off yesterday. We worked a half day because we didn't work. It rained until about 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. So and if I get up in the morning and it's raining and uh, it's going to rain for a little bit, I'll pull the plug early. I don't dilly dally. I say, yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. Get it done. But, but the rain helped out a lot. So it's got them growing. But they're not growing like crazy anymore. So they're past that point. Just, just the weeds are still growing pretty crazy. But the, the fullness and the lushness of the lawn, it's losing its vigor, so. But that's that's cool. Very, very cool. But thank you, everybody, for checking me out, stopping by. I get a couple days off, and I'd like to get a couple more days off. But my dream of winning the Mega Millions, it didn't happen. But it's okay. It could be better. It could be worse. Back to the casino. Get the next house in less than a minute. I missed that, Bobby, because this YouTube uh, YouTube chat just comes on for a couple seconds and five seconds and it falls off on my end. So, hi, Connie. Yeah. Here's Thomas. Hey, Thomas. I don't know Thomas. You know Thomas with the school with him. He was a school bus driver years ago, too. What are we doing here? This one, off. this one, the last one of this. We got to do all this right here. Hold on, I can't. All right, by that garage. Yeah, okay. right here, this little side. Uh -huh. Don't cut nothing on this side of the grass because that's this house. Okay. And it's this junky house right here, and then there's like two little passes in the front. So don't do this. Don't do nothing on this side because it's this house. So you're really the second house in? Yeah. But all this right. whole that's back part know. is the person that belongs to that house. Okay. So we'll get that figured out. See what you said, Bobby, real quick. Then. Put the windows back down. Johnny said hello. Why is it hard? It's, it's a little, a little, little muggy, Bobby. Not too terrible, but I'm breaking a sweat from it. So let me shut that off. Get situated here. Get my hat on. Get my glasses. I don't got the music either, Connie. I, I stole wear, it. I gotta wear the old uh, sing to yourself headphones, but it's okay. I like singing to myself. 
Makes the day go by faster when I sing to myself. I should have left my tripod on the back of the trailer. It would have been easier than trying to fight and get in the back seat. Ooh. What we got here? Still took this round. If I get them stuck here, we'll be in business. Switch you guys around to here. Gotta plug this in. I used my phone the other day. I remember it charges. This YouTube phone. What is it? A mirror. A mirror? Great. Hopefully, I'll get a flat tire. Nice old car coming over here. Let's see him for the code. Fifty-five Chevy. I don't know the exact year. Nice car though.
Maybe, just maybe. I don't feel like it. I could probably get them all done tomorrow afternoon. Just gotta stay on an extra, an extra hour or two each day. So tomorrow, we get them done in two days. Which will be nice. But we'll see what I feel like doing. And in a little bit. No flat tires. No flat tires. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you. But that'll be good if we get them done in two days. If not, three is okay because I'm in the middle of September. Mario don't come back. I'll have to do four days a week then, but four easy days. What did you say? I opened your door and the tail or the door and the tail light flashed. Must be the ghost. Must have ever did that one. Oh, well, that's the mysterious rolling. Easy squeezy. Yeah. Those dogs were cute. He yelled at them. Jumping on the fence. He barked at me. He was big. He's a big shepherd. It's all right. Uh, what's up, everybody? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're getting them done. We're not breaking those speed records. We're getting them done. At least the pop's still cold from this morning, so, so that's a positive. Be back at the next house in about a minute. As soon as we get the this little light. Business. Pretty sure you're not my mother. Thank you. My mother was. Who's your mother? Thank you. Hey, Bobby, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the super chat. I can't highlight it on my end, Bobby, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you a million. We're going to go and uh, we'll do some small, a smaller lottery for Friday. We'll do a smaller one. I'll get some numbers. Maybe to take five. It wouldn't win as much, but... We waste the money. No, no, no. No, oh, no take five not worth that? Nope. No? Take five's not worth it. Nope. I win more on the slot machine than you can win on take five. Yeah, we're not going there, so... No, I'm saying that doesn't give it not enough to return. We're we'll trying. Well, Bobby, thank you a million. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For the help keep me alive. The YouTube fund. Two for Bobby. That's how I here. But if it doesn't come up with mine, I can't like do it on the streamer one. Gotcha. 
Awesome, awesome. Thank you a million, Bobby. So, what we get, uh, we could, yeah, we, uh, we, uh, man, it's bumping the street over here. We got a little guy cutting his lawn over here. But the only thing that's cool about using, uh, the, uh, uh, the YouTube version of it, uh, doing a live stream, and I can make the camera bigger so we can do some close ups. Let's see what we got here. Today, today's the first day of the fair by us. Won't, won't be able to make it, but it's the best because it's actually the cheapest day to get in. <laughs> it was a good family tonight, too. Today. And then we got Chubby Checker was on TV this morning, local by us. He's going to do the twist he was saying. So. We shall see what he has to say, Mr. Checker. Hi, Winter Let me Dream. Get this, let me get this spun around, see what we got going on here. Pick three or pick four. I gave him a wrench. That'd be cool. What's up, Winter? How are you doing? Thank you for stopping. Drinking water? Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. I got water. Not too bad. I got our snacks, too. That's lunch. A little Debbie. But the, the frosting, the chocolate frosting melted a lot since this morning. <laughs> so you actually need a rag. What's up, Alex? We can get that done, Alex, if you want. Definitely, we could do that. I shall see. I'll take this out. I'll set up real quick. All right. We'll be good to go. Got a couple minutes to start a head start because there's only about 15 minutes of trimming here and probably half an hour of grass cutting. So we could hang out, chill. It's cold because of my. blank there for a second. What's up? We're back. We're back at it. We're live. Ugh, lady wanted to pay her bill. Oh, thank you, Bobby. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, today, today the fair starts by us, and once the fair is done, I always looked at it as a reminder that it was time to get ready to go back to school. In our area when I was younger, I wasn't a big fan of school. So I was always hoping that summer would be a little bit longer. That would be... That was my dream. Oh, yesterday? Happy birthday also. The 8th? Yeah, we said it the other day. That's right, the 8th. Cool. Oh. Hopefully you got the same thing as me. Nothing. <laughs> but that's cool because I'm... Um, I didn't have uh, Mario didn't come last week, so he came one day. So I had some extra money left over, so I have to pay him this week for last week, I should say. I bought myself two guitar pedals for my birthday. <laughs> well, that's cool. I have to stop at the store and get some more drinks. So I only bring. I got a water too. Let me drink water. So I picked up, like I said, two guitar pedals, so. A little 
coolers working great. But that's cool. I'm going to go. I don't know if I get to the fair this week. I got to fix that lawnmower. Keeps thawing out that safety and it's the seat. There's a safety switch on a seat you sit on. For some reason, it's acting up. Yeah, while working, yeah. So I got to work look at that today, too. I got the X mark all jacked up, ready to go. I just got to stick that belt on. Today's list to get stuff done, but like I said, I was playing plumber yesterday, so. So that didn't work, but we got the plumber set up all done. I'm all done with that. So go to the fair, look at some new equipment. I was wondering what that rattling was, but it was a, a seatbelt flap. I hope it stalled out again. That's aggravating when it starts stalling out like that. So I'll get that uh, snowplow blade. I'll get that ordered when I go to the fair. I'm not sure. We might. See, they're calling for some rain tomorrow morning. So, And like I said, I don't like working a half day. If I'm off in the morning, I don't feel like going to work in the afternoon. So I just take the whole day off usually. But we'll see. This is vacation week next week. Everything's back to normal. But the fair, the fair goes till the following Sunday, not this Sunday, one more Sunday. So it's like 12 days long, they say. So we, uh, like I said, we'll go there, check out some new equipment, see what they got. Yeah, but Friday, Bobby, I'll probably have to cut grass on Friday. Because I'm not going to get them all done today. If I don't get them done tomorrow, I could let them hang till Monday, though. I could I could take off till Monday if I wanted to, but I don't know. It's decision, decision, decision. It's a, it's a tough call because I don't want to, you know, you miss a couple days and you might, you know, you might only get three cuts in for the month versus four. So, but realistically, they can get away with three cuts too right now because uh, they're growing, but not crazy growing where you got to stay on top of them. So now I just pretty much go there, show up, and uh. Once you get done, you know, they look just as good as, you know, when you left them last week. And now you don't have to spend much extra time. No, oh, Bobby, you never work Friday. On Saturdays? No way. Not no more. By the time we do Saturdays, we make real money. We make a real job. We make real money. So I don't work Saturdays, Sundays. I try not to work Fridays no more either. So, and if I, I didn't have Mario this year, I would have to work uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But right now I'd be able down I can be down doing by myself in three days. So or one real long day and a normal day. You get them done done in two days. But no matter how I look at it, it's actually, you know, 20, 22 hours by myself. I have to put in 24 hours. It all depends. Because a couple of them, a couple of them are skipped every other week now because of the summer and drought and that and they're uh they're apartment houses anyway, so, you know, I don't mind because they don't mind what they look like. They don't complain, so. And they're looking to save a couple dollars, too, so, you know, one or two of them I'll, uh, I'll let slide here and there, but, you know, as long as it really doesn't need it, because if it really needs it, then I got to go get them done. Because I don't want to come to everybody's house the following week and spend an extra 10 or 15 minutes. Because <coughs> believe it or not, that 10 or 15 minutes adds up. But now I used to do this. I've been doing this now for 30 years, 30 years of doing it. I'm still not good at it either, but uh, still learning every day something new. And uh, I did it six days a week, you know, especially in the beginning of the season. I had six days a week worth of work. We were doing it, you know, every single day, seven days, you know, and just spinning your tires, working through the rain. We had rain suits we used to wear, them yellow, them yellow rain jacks with the rain pants, and we showed up people's lawns with the... Uh, and it was raining out, they would be so mad, especially the seniors. They would always say, oh, if the grass is laying flat, it's not getting cut, blah, blah, blah. But I had no choice, I had to get them done, because we were, you know, spent even extra amount of time cleaning up because of the rain, and the lawns were wet, and they were getting clumpy. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? And 30 years ago, we didn't have equipment like this that, you know, was hydrostatic, you know, zero turn and flew around and got the job done and hit the grass while we had them old old belt driven mowers that just shot the grass forever the decks weren't designed to uh you know discharge the grass nice and evenly just shot it out one little section and you had big balls but i uh like i said as i'm getting older we started working one time this probably was about 
maybe 12 years ago, and we were hustling, me and Mario, 12, 12, 13 years ago, and we discovered that uh, if we hustled on Friday and didn't slack, or if, we, if we hustled on Monday, I should say, if we hustled on Monday and didn't take it easy on Monday, it was easier towards the week, towards weekend, like Thursday or Friday. And eventually we got it down so that we got it done in four days or five days worth of work. And I started discovering that I had a, was able to, uh, what do you call it, take Friday off. So I had Friday off, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that was the best because I worked many years, six days a week and didn't charge enough money. That was the problem too back in the day. Overworked, kind of like the school teachers are nowadays. Underpaid and overworked. I was watching about that. And, excuse me, we're talking about this morning in our area and across the country. But uh, those are just some thoughts. So, but you know, like I said, I, I could I could do that because I gave up on uh, you know big dreams of you know Tesla cars and all kinds of crazy stuff like that, and all kinds of motorcycles and all toys that I didn't have time for or need. And because of that, I'm able to, uh, you know, live within my means. And uh, cause when I was younger, I wanted everything that I saw I wanted to buy. So, and I did. And eventually that caught up with me. And uh, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't good. But that's how you live and learn. So the only way you do it, you got to do it. Get out there and see what you got going. And <clears throat> Just find a happy point, because if you're always chasing what other people got, or if you want to get what they got just to be better, it's, it doesn't work out that good anymore. It happens. I can start trimming.
Done. Slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Let's see what we got here. What's up, Bobby? What's up, guys? Hey, Mark. Good morning. Thank you for stopping by, Mark. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But it is a nice day, definitely. 
a little bit muggy. Some people would say it's not that warm. Some people say it's too warm. What's up, Bobby? What's up, Jenna? You can mow at 2 a.m.? Nice. And use one battery. A cross ring uses a Honda push mower. Okay, yeah. Had Hondas back in the day. Very, very reliable. They last a long time. Oh, I don't know what I just did. Yep, leaf blow. I don't think that when you're allowed to start, comes the mower. Yeah, 7 a.m., yeah, lots of edging. Yep, 7 a.m. is a little too early. Some people get mad. From the last time I mowed it. Yep, so you don't want to start too early. Two or three. I use one battery. No noise. That's cool, Bob. I never used an electric mower, so I have to look into that. Grandstands. Yep, yep. I don't prefer standing. I don't like standing. I'd rather sit down, but uh, Skag, yeah, Skag makes good heavy duty mowers. Yep, they make good mowers. Yeah, they're all, they're all different colors. Mine's a little push mower. Nice. Mug in Chicago. Yep, same here. So your battery operator is a craftsman, Bobby? Yeah. I got a good deal. 200 and it retails for 500 Cool. As long as it works, it's a good deal. That's definitely definitely true. But yeah, I got to... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't use it for, uh, you know, trying to make money with it. But, you know, for residential, if it's just for your house... Battery might be the way to go, especially if you stay on top of it and cut it, you know, weekly or every couple of days from the beginning of the season. Might be the way to go. So you don't got to mess around with gas or make a two-stroke mix. But when the batteries start to go, that's when it gets expensive. at the light guys I'll be at the light the one minute I'll be at the light the bumpy part of the street we're on Collection of bottles starts there in the back seat. Oh. I have to clean the Jeep out this afternoon. I like it looking like a pig stud. See what you guys said going up to this light right here. We want live chat. That's what we want. Heavier with different people. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm happy. I think fades too quick. Uh, probably because of uh, cheaper prices. Uh, there's always Mr. Lowballer out there. You know, some people, they start out, they don't charge enough, so they, they get a little extra work, or could be many reasons. You know, it could be whoever had the contract where you're at, possibly they realized after doing all the work for, you know, how many ever months they did it, eight months, seven eight nine months they, they didn't make as much money as they thought so they're out of there some of the bigger companies you know they got employees working for them um some of the bigger companies got employees working for them you know they're on the bigger and better if they can so if they can send their guys out you know and after two guy three guy screws make them you know, six, seven hundred bucks a day, and they can find something that's going to make them eight hundred dollars a day. 
and it's not too much further away, they'll jump on that. So, but a lot of times there is no loyalty in the game for anybody, you know, unless you are, uh, you know, do like I do. You got a lot of senior senior people that I take care of. So, you know, as long as you do a good job and don't pull a fast one on them or nothing, you know, they'll uh, treat them. They'll keep coming back. You treat them nice, respect them, do what you're supposed to do, and. You know, don't lie. They'll keep coming back. But yeah, a lot of a lot of times, like you know, commercial properties and that, they're up for bid too. Sometimes, and bid. I don't like bid work because bid work is uh, bid work is basically you know how low can you go, how low can you afford to go, and it doesn't matter what you do in life. It don't matter if it's uh, you know, getting worked on your car or getting home repairs. Somebody's got to make up the difference of the lowest bidder, whether it be. Uh, poor quality uh, parts they might be using, or you know, poor quality material, you know, or or they're cheating with the, uh, you know, labor. You know, they might say they're going to do something and actually put it on there and don't do it. You know, just so they look better. And there's all kinds of ways to uh, oh, uh, to uh, make uh, you know things seem much good, uh, better, you know, for cheaper. But really. In life, you always get what you pay for. I found that out. I always try taking shortcuts myself in the past, and you know, you might save a couple dollars, but a couple dollars later, you'll have to uh, One possibly uh, do them or wean it for somebody. But that's that's why they uh, they would probably switch companies just for the fact to save some money. Because if you're a, a manager of a place, you want to try to spend as little money as possible, whether it be for employees. Labor materials, so that way you you look like the. Oh, I'm gonna put my track. Out. That way you look like a. You're making them some money. What do we got here? What's up, Mark? Every year, different people. Yeah, I've been happy with it. Been using it for four years now. Okay, Mark. Thank you for stopping by. That's a lot different lawn care this year. Next year too. Yeah. Foxboro lawn care. Okay, thanks, Bobby. You'll talk to us later. Sweet. I take a nap too, but then these lawns when I get done, I gotta get them done. But thank you for stopping by, Bobby. Thank you for that super chat if you're still listening. Thank you. Hope you have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow because we'll be working tomorrow. Unfortunately, the Powerball and Mega Millions are gonna come through.
Wait, they're mown by you? All right. Sounds like fun. Bobby's taking a nap. Up, Joey? I saw you were alive a couple minutes ago. I signed up. Thanks for stopping by. I didn't get a chance to check you out today, so my apologies. We'll catch up. We'll catch up, everybody. Got a little cloudiness, so it turned out to be nice. That's great. Happy to end up. Got cloudy. Switch these guys around to here. Right around. All right, we're back at it. I got to shave too. Just noticed that. Didn't shave. Yeah, it's not that big of a house, Jenna. Not big at all. Easy squeezy. In and out. Those are our favorite little ones. You get thirty dollars. I'm here for fifteen minutes at the most. On to the next one. Keep adding them up. But these are uh, bread and butter ones. These are the ones you want. You don't want the ones that got swing sets in the backyard and you know, kids' toys all over, swimming pools. You especially don't want in-ground swimming pools unless you're going to bag them. It's just about impossible to keep the grass from going into the front of the in-ground top of the in-ground swimming pool. I've done it before in the past, and now I learned to pass on them, like I said. You always get grass clippings, no matter how how minute it looks. And so I pass on everybody with an in-ground pool because of that. And if you spend five or ten minutes trying to skim them out, it doesn't, it doesn't work out as good. So, so sometimes you're better off just to, to mass pass on everybody. What's up, Dan? How are you, Dan? What's going on? What's up, Mr. Fart? Huh, never thought about that. Yeah, with the, I could probably uh, shave somebody else with it, but I couldn't do it myself. That'd be pretty impossible to try to hold it and get it close. But I make a good video. You're right. I get a million views on it. If you're getting all nicked up and cut on everything, so true, so true. But I'm hoping it don't rain tomorrow because if it rains tomorrow, it's gonna screw up my whole plans. But if I didn't have plans, it wouldn't rain. So. It all boils down to. Oh, yeah. Never, never, never. That would be good. <laughs> be better, yeah? yeah. That's true. You never know till we try. For sure, you gotta try. So, Bobby, thank you for the super chat. Also, Bobby said he had to go take a nap. So, Bobby's got the right idea. I'm going to fly, guys. I'll see everybody in the morning. Thank you, everybody in the chat, for stopping by. Everybody Bye. have a great day. I'll see you guys in the morning. Thank you. Bye-bye.